Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. A couple of weeks ago I said the next show was Wings and Wheels in Essex. Turns out I forgot about the Long Marston show. For the car guys, it's at the same old airfield as the Shakespeare County Raceway. But no racing today though, the RC stuff was in the runoff area. Right, models. There was quite a few jets again, for some reason quite a bit louder than the ones at Blackbush. Far more satisfying to watch. Of course, the almost ever-present DB sound was doing the PA. I think his uh, words best express the feelings of this vectored thrust jet, so I'll leave him to it. Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, 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 yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Pretty cool, I think. Must have a rather well-configured set of gyros to keep it nose up like that. These guys were a right pain to film. Fun Fighters, I think was the name. Flying with small glow engines, really quick. And now, something a bit bigger. The Horizon Decathlon. Not sure if it was a 26 BNF or the 100cc ARF. Always hard to gauge the size at shows as most of the models are so big. Really smooth in the air, like it. It would be nice to have a field big enough. Maybe I should find an engine for my old Black Horse Decathlon. It's only a 40 size, but still, it's red and white. That's close enough, right? <laughs> Here's a landing. You see, it really doesn't look all that big, until this guy comes out to retrieve it. It's got to be the 100cc. It's massive. Alright, helicopters. Doing the usual stick steering, but sounds a bit boring without an engine getting stressed out. But, no doubt, electric is better for this stuff. Instant power and all that. Like those little fighters, these are really tricky to follow. Hang on, this one's glow. Much better. <laughs> Didn't get much footage of it though, as shortly after it started the stick stirring, the tail rotor jumped off. I had quite a soft arrival in the grass though, minimal damage from what I could see. One of the fun fighters that didn't make it. Don't think the tail feathers are supposed to be detachable, but shows the size though. It would be a good chuck it in the car model. Some World War II stuff now, going past quite quickly. <laughs> DB Sound wanted a low pass, so the Corsair pilot did his best, and I think did rather well. Definitely low. <laughs> the Spitfire's pass was quite a bit higher, but that meant I could film it with a few less heads along the bottom of the frame. Nice. <laughs> Bearcat going by, followed by face with sunglasses. This guy was running a radial engine. Sounded awesome when it wasn't swamped by the sound of the other models. He did have a problem though, only one of his main gear came down. There was quite a bit of shaking of the model to try and free it up. I think by this point he's given up trying to get the other leg down, and goes inverted where the working leg drops back into the wing. I'm guessing he was running pneumatics, and by this point had run out of pressure. He waited for the rest of the circuit to clear, then went for a belly land in the grass. Held it off for as long as he could, and of course put it down precisely behind this guy in the red shirt. Oh, to be on the other side of the fence. <laughs> Here's the walk of shame. Looks like they got away without any real damage. Quite good, really. Not sure what was wrong with this one. The undercarriage seems to be down, but he dished it in the grass. Maybe a control issue. Looked a bit wobbly, but that might have just been the airspeed. The thing with jets is the engine gets really hot. Luckily, it's been a bit wet lately, so the grass didn't catch. Can be a real issue in the summer, though. These two guys retrieve the model, but by this time the next slot has already started, so they sat down a few feet into the grass. They probably had the best seat for the flying. More World War II stuff, including this Lancaster. Four 30 odd cc petrol engines, nice. Unfortunately, I missed where the guy holding on was having trouble holding the model down, or trying to signal to the pilot to cut the throttle. You could almost feel the panic. <laughs> Big Sky Raider at full chat going through. If it wasn't for the single cylinder sound, you'd be hard pressed to tell it was a model. Here's the Lank. It stayed up pretty high the entire flight, staying out of the way of the Sky Raider, I guess. That and avoiding the ground at all costs. But still, even at that height, it's pretty convincing. Like it. After that segment, the jet guys get ready to carry the model back, just as a DC-3 comes in on finals. Nice. Christian Eagle now, and I think DB Sound has been talking to the PA guy from Blackbush. Somehow it's more acceptable from DB though. <laughs> Smoke on. Straight up. Right over the 
top. Quarter point turn. Vertical climb. Amazing model this, a flat four petrol engine. Way more power than wake. Again, if I had a field big enough and possibly win the lottery as well, I would have to have one. <laughs> so smooth. Here we go, hovering. Again, DB says the next bit best, so I'll leave him do it. And everybody's gonna get a bung full of smoke in a minute, which will do it good. <laughs> Ooh, here he goes. Bye bye everybody, we'll leave you with this amazing man. What's he doing? The bloke's gone out of sight now. He's holding it. Apparently, yeah, I could definitely handle having a go with one of those planes. Hmm. Right, that'll do. Last clip will be this thing that looks like it should be on the PS1 at the starting grid of Wipeout. Crazy looking. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, a like is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you're not already, why not subscribe? It's free after all. <laughs> Bye, guys.